temperatures rise and melt the ice in my cold veins. I'll tell you a story. Hi, Anne. Good morning. I'm feeling really good this morning, even though I've been making bad decisions. But that's neither here nor there. Accept it. It's a front one. Accept him. No, I got dandruff real bad, y'all. Like, especially in the front. Like, and then with locks, your, your hair just hold on to everything that you've accumulated throughout your life. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. But hi. I don't know if this is the start of a new vlog. I don't know if I'm going to attach this to the last vlog. But all I'm going to say is, hey, booze. If you knew, what's up? Welcome to the motherfucking show. The oh so sincere show. Okay? You know what I'm saying? I'm sincere, by the way, if you're confused. And on this channel, I do what I want when I want. And you just watch me do it, baby. Hey. But really, I have no clear direction of what I'm doing for my YouTube channel. I'm just recording what I want and I'm posting it. So I hope you... I hope it feeds your spirit. I hope it makes you laugh. And hope I'm able to be a part of your subscriptions. Mm-hmm. Okay, and for all those that's been here, baby, y'all already know how I feel. Thank you for staying. Uh, <sighs> but anyway, today is going to be somewhat eventful, but not really. I'm going to another football game. I'm hanging out with my co-star. You know, I should probably start paying her. Um... Maisha, we hanging out again today. She's going to come scoop a bit up. And yeah, I could have went out yesterday. But when I tell you I was so lazy yesterday, it was shameful. It was real shameful how lazy I was yesterday. It was one of those like, bitch, do you give a fuck? No. Not yesterday. I didn't. Okay. But yeah. Yeah, so I'm up. I'm getting myself together. She's going to come um, get me. I'm probably going to stay the night at her house. And, you know, we're just going to kick it and have a good old time. Kick it and have a good old time. I'm actually trying to get two vlogs done for y'all. I'm trying to get two vlogs done for y'all this weekend. Post it. Because I got, I got all of it. I got the content. I just got to edit it and post it. So, I'm going to try to do two of them over this weekend. I wanted to record some more videos. But... I'm not sure. I might I might still try to record the video. It probably just will have to be like a midnight recording of or whatever the case may be. I don't know what, how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure that part out because I have to make the time to do it. Plus, I have to do the product review for the Shape LX. Shape LX? I need to figure out how to actually say their business name because it's Shape LLX. So, is it Shape X or is it Shape L I, I don't know. But I'm going to do them. Um, I'm going to do the... Uh, product review i want to compare the wrap that they sent me to the wrap i got from amazon because i really don't like the wrap from amazon too much but it does what it needs to do but i can't keep it on all day i need something i can keep on all day oh should i waist train today since i'm up and out i made this waist train today i might wear my j sculpt all day today we're gonna figure that part out but all right y'all i'm gonna finish getting ready for my day i just wanted to come check in and let y'all know you know either welcome back to the vlog or welcome to this vlog whatever the case may be you know uh, <laughs> we live in life with no um direction over here <laughs> don't forget to like comment and subscribe go ahead and like it real quick before we get into the rest of the video because that's where y'all y'all be tripping y'all don't be pushing that like button and i feel some type of way about it and i'm gonna tell you that's what i'm telling you right now hit the like button oh and subscribe <laughs> All right, Americans. Game was canceled. Nah, fuck that. I'm about to go talk to them because they got me fucked up. Game was canceled, man. I gotta call my sick and the man over my child face. So I'm doing right now. <laughs> sometimes I do be spazzy. Now you deserve a spazzy. Just drove an hour for nothing. I'm fucking out. She's oh, not answering. The boy just ready. He done took a goodie powder. Just look at him. Just. <laughs> oh, good BC part of my bad. But he was the same. I feel like those are the same things. He done took all these drugs to play his game. My baby is ready. You ready? My baby is ready. He done overdosed on allergy medicine just to play his game. And y'all gonna cancel? Wait. My baby. Everybody could have still been in a motherfucking bed, bitch. Seriously. Seriously, I could have worked a couple a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you. Did you bring a laptop? I, did, I didn't, but it's at the house because I figured we, I was going to stop by and get it. And I figured we was going to watch a game today. 
so they didn't want to keep my laptops in a hot car. Right, makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it make sense? It does. Just, I bet he white. Oh. oh. You know what? I, he might be black. You know what? I don't even care. Why the black? He a bitch. He's probably black, for sure. Somebody showed up let's to get, the pregame. Let's guess Pre what he looks games? like. Let's guess what he looks like. He fat. I was gonna say that for number one. <laughs> he okay. got a big, big body. He, he got a big belly. He waddles. Definitely he's a waddler. He's gonna no have a ass. cap. He's gonna have a cap. He's gonna have a cap on. Definitely gonna have a ball cap. He's gonna be old. No ass. Like you know how they have those pants mm -hmm. that even with the belt, the crack shows. Mm -hmm. He gonna have that mustache that don't connect right here. <laughs> Ow. And no beard. <laughs> no beard. It's just that mustache that don't yeah, connect right and, here. And a ball fucking head. Oh yeah. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this camera up there. He ain't gonna know. I'm about to cuss this movie. <laughs> he don't know it yet. I'm gonna start off calm though. I'm gonna be like, you know what, sir? I don't understand the issue. They're pre games, they don't count. I don't know where it says anywhere in the rules that you have to attend a pre game in mm -hmm. order to show up. But wasn't it like at 10 a.m. this morning or something like that? And yes. their game's not until... And their first real game isn't until 1 30. So what the fuck is we gonna be out there all them hours for? To sit. Just to sit? It'll be one thing if we showing up at 10, 30, and we got games mm. back to back to back to back to back or 10 minute, 15, 20 minute break here because the games only run at 20 minutes anyway. Mm -hmm. But the fact that nobody showed up to your pre-games, you gonna cancel it? That's some bitch shit. Bitch. On top of that, my nigga, it is a holiday fucking weekend. Right. We could have just not played. Mm -hmm. We could have been out of town. We still might fucking but it's hot as hell so we got the air on 70 thousand the games is still afoot i guess that nigga felt the energy that everybody was about to come and cuss that ass out oh, let me put on my seat belt it's hot she all mom ready and alert and shit i'm over here exhausted this is waist training. You know I still got it on. That shit crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let me take it off. Let my belly hang. Yeah, she done. She done. Clean See, I like it the other way. Me too. Clean that though. Hold on, let me. Mama done pulled out the, the medicine contraption. <laughs> she done pulled it in. No, I can't do this whole fucking day sober. It's hot. It's so hot. It's so crazy because it was so cool this morning. My baby came back in the house and put on long sleeves. <laughs> so mommy's kind of chippy out there. <laughs> you know it'll be winter, spring, summer, fall in Georgia. I walked outside. I said, it is a little chilly. Sorry if y'all can't hear us. It's hot. We got to cool the cow. Yeah, it's it's hot. Yeah. Okay. If y'all want me to vlog, goddamn it, we gonna need some air. It's a possibility they can't hear anything I'm saying, but I'm gonna put this in the vlog. And oh, oh, got a little weed on the lip. <laughs> On the lip. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I can turn the down here. Go through the light. So why wait? I'm, I'm putting my hair right back up. I was a fool to put it down. Why? Because it's hot. Yeah. It's pretty down. I know. Thank you. I moisturized it. Stop playing again. Did y'all watch the 8 Ball MJG versus? I had a good time when I watched it. I'm saying, I mean, I understand how motherfuckers can say it could possibly be boring, but Bun B did what the fuck he had to do. I've always loved MJG's voice. Eight balls, eight ball. Okay. That nigga big then, big now. Girl, it's still looking here. It's still alive. Looking like he's still gonna eat whatever the fuck. Whatever the <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Young man, please move. I'm in a rush. Thank you. <coughs> hey guys. You guys have on he big. Oh shit. So we about to go in the parlor because we gotta get the boys some ice and water. We gonna vlog while we in? Yeah, we're gonna vlog while we in. Coo, coo, coo. I like being your co-star. Oh yeah, whip it. Y'all see how she got the, y'all see how she look with that thing? Don't play with her. No, I ain't gonna lie though. Um, Maisha give me anxiety. Right with her. I ain't gonna lie. There's so many times where I'm like, I'm, I'm not gonna make, oh, I, listen, I, I made it. Listen, I made it. Listen, oh, I'm about to die. I made it. Listen, I'm not listen, gonna die. Listen, no, she told listen, me. I'm not gonna put me in danger. So nobody has nothing to worry about. Girl, I be, I be doing kegels and my kegels go, <laughs> when she driving, <laughs> Well, I bet you I, well, I tell, let me see. I'm going up on the table. I had to stop myself from saying something. 
back when we get inside. Is it funny? What are they doing? They cooking? Oh, they cooking? Oh, it delicious. Ooh. Mm. That's way back. It looks, it looks, uh, it looks dark in here. It looks a little dark. They go warm, right? Warm and ice. Oh. You might just have to move backwards though. Because these are registers. Is that guy not paid yet? Is that why you're not paid yet? She's just working hard. Oh, she didn't hit that head. I caught that. I caught that. <laughs> but you see how she didn't feel it? That's the moms don't feel nothing. She kept moving like, bitch, you ain't seen nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't feel nothing. You ain't seen nothing. Look at it. See, I am no good. Girl, you better haul it. Girl, you better haul it. This will happen when, you, when you've when been by yourself with three kids for so long. Three boys. Three boys at that. They ain't here to do, do their part. They ain't here to do their part. They be doing they this if they was here. They hanging on the weekend. No, on the weekends, you got to put in work. All right. I told, I told you, bro. I told you we were going to go back. <laughs> I said that. I now we got to go I out to come in. So just, right here, right here. Cut everybody. Right here. Look, 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 look. It's right here, y'all. It's open. Oh, never mind. All right. See, they caught you. What we need? I'm going to get them some oranges. That nigga got some chips. I'm so sick of them. Who, Mario? No. Oh, the, oh, the men. The coaches. Yeah. They don't care about their health. No, they don't care. They just want them to win the game. Yeah, cherries, yeah. Yeah. And they look. I figured I need to get me some up. Fruit. Why not this watermelon? Because at least I can keep it cold. I don't like, I don't like watermelon with no, with no seeds in it. What are you, $4.99? Oh, this, oh, wait. I guess I'll get the sticks. I'll take the sticks. You know, we got kids at the goddamn game. Don't ask me for shit, y'all. Oh, there you go. I'm about to say she ain't left me. All right, got me some watermelon. What else should I get myself? If I give myself some more to drink. Okay, thank you so much. What you asking about these oranges? I just wanted the cutie brand, but that's the brand of boys. Oh. Damn, no great. My baby wants some great. I don't think they they always have it mixed with something though. They don't never have the grapes by themselves. Them. I didn't them for oh, they do? Yeah. Oh. Maybe this Kroger just don't have them. It's this Kroger. It's because we're in Gwinnett. Oh, oh, yeah, I forgot we was in Gwinnett. <laughs> I'm used to I'm used to the um, hood well, stores. Alright, oranges, we're going to be out. Do I want something to drink? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, need, I may need to because I ain't even got. Wait, and they're going to need them waters. Especially they're going to be out there for like several hours. So I might as well get myself something to drink. They look good? Yeah, they look good. Look, <laughs> she's excited. Okay. <laughs> what are my boys doing? But what we got to wash them? We're going to wash them with the water bottle? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right, let me see if I can find myself something to drizzle. I'm coming. Okay. Juice out. What do I do? I, I think I need to do a, like a big ass water. Cause I know the boys gonna be tearing those waters up. And I can't be taking their waters from them. Ooh, I love these, the honest teas. These, these are really good. I really like these. I'm not gonna do one of these, but I don't like that. So, and all of them got that damn dent in it. What else do I want? I want a water, bro, but is this not the water? I don't want a smart water. See, they need to just be keeping just water in here too. They they don't need to be carrying just water. I guess I'll try this cold water. Never really drunk it. Hmm, okay.
I gotta pay for them verbal and cash. I mean, we'll call my car, right? They're not gonna work for the people, okay? Mm -hmm. You do? Oh. I thought you couldn't do it. Anything, anything, Cole. You can get food, like, at the mm -hmm. deli. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get your public service. Oh, no, no, that's on the air. But I ain't gonna be, I need to stop asking for anything. What happened? Nothing, I forgot. Oh, come on. Number dance, baby. All right. All right. Oh, sorry. What you do? What you do? You only put one bag in for right now? Uh-huh. I like I put like I put the I I put it like me. Oh, okay. I just usually had help. So I already be doing this and I'm doing the ice. Oh, you know what I'm saying? We need to get some more. I don't know. I ain't really got no more. Well, I think that one of the mamas brought another cooler. Uh huh. Yeah, you might run in there and get like one more bag. Okay. Alright. We're back. So the end of the game, so we was probably only here for a full 30 to 45 minutes. We thought we was gonna be here till like at least four or five o'clock. So yeah, man, we just I knew this little nigga was gonna come back here over his goddamn dog. <laughs> Check this little nigga, he might took my red board. I need a thug. Oh, okay, you got some water. <laughs> but it's so hot out here. We're about to stop at my house, check on them dogs, and we're gonna go to my niche house, baby. My damn rap ain't even all right. I'm delirious. <laughs> Early the next morning. Little baby, baby, listen. Little baby, listen. Little baby, listen. This is Master How P. much is they pay you, little baby? How much is they pay you, little Why baby? Why Master P got ooh wee wavy? Where's, where is it? Right. Where's the wee wavy? Oh, it's right in my only, <laughs> this nigga got the <laughs> No, not money bag, yo's bag being all green. <laughs> it's real pickle. I know. Jalapeno. No. <laughs> I'm so, because I love these ones, right? But the fact that he made them bitches in hot, and he got motherfucking cheddar cheese and sour cream, and he got the barbecue with the motherfucking honey. Little yeah. baby. Little baby was just out here at the hibachi restaurant. Really? Like the street from my house. Yeah. They paying this. This nigga got 18 wrap snacks. Right. I fuck with the Migos for, like to a certain extent. Either. For to a certain extent, it depends on the brand. But that honey barbecue, I may need to try it I'm one day. Get, I'm definitely These are good, it. but they remind me of the ta the tahini sauce, what they be putting on mangoes with the Hispanics. We put on um, mangoes say, and stuff. It like his wings. I, I I like these to a certain. Not Cardi B with the goddamn pork skin. <sighs> Between Cardi and Lil Baby, they they on the road to figure out. But I, I'm getting these. You getting those? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get um, uh, 
barbecue with the honey heat. I might get the honey. That sound good. And I I'm can't a, believe I'm he try, made these I'm hot. Try these ooh Them ooh wees might be something. And. Mm -hmm. <laughs> deal with him beating on me and cheating on me. Lord have mercy, so much went on. Let me explain what this is before we get into this particular scene. This nigga heard her talking about how basically baby daddies ain't shit or something like that or whatever the case may be. It went to just her sharing her experience as a black woman with a raggedy ass baby daddy. And that nigga right there, the tie tribbit ass looking nigga, decided to chime in when no one was talking to him. So this is where... I tuned myself out because I personally refuse to argue with black men. So listen up, watch how this goes. Okay, that's why we're not together. And when we broke up, he decided he didn't have children anymore. And like you said, it takes two to make them, right? Okay, so who am I to suffer, or not even me to suffer, my children to suffer because he don't want to pick up on his end. So we got to live in poverty because he don't want to pick up on his end. Fuck that. All I wanted was daycare. <laughs> <But> <laughs> All I wanted was daycare, reality, and he couldn't help me with reality, daycare. On the first kid, when he found out that he didn't want to breastfeed. In reality, with the first kid, we were children. Yeah, but I'm saying, once you found out he didn't want to help you, you wouldn't have any more kids with the first kid. In reality, like I said, we were children. Okay, okay. okay. we were no, children. You can't go back in time. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, we, thank you. We are, uh, we were children. Really nice. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, this is morning wear. You was looking at my booty, that's why you wanted to know if yeah, I was, I was looking at her. Was, you oh, you looking at me? I'm you oh, the satin? Oh, thank you, thank is, you. Is, is that, I definitely you woke up. That's why you want to know if he was going to child support? Mm -hmm. That's why you want to know if he was going to child support? Nah, seriously, we were children. And he probably... How old were you? We were 17. Okay, you were 17. You feel what I'm saying? Because my child had How nothing to do with it. Thirteen. About to say. Twelve. I'm about to say, aren't they like right up? And then ten, right? Or ten. Yeah, he'll be eleven in July. How old are you? Me, thirty-six. Oh, have first child next year. I have my first one at twenty. At twenty. Are you still with? Your I got family? my first puppy at. Are you still twenty-seven? With are you on time? <laughs> but when you she asks you things for your child, do you take care of them? Yeah, because I'm in a position where I can. He was too. By the time I left, everybody don't be in position. That's what I. That's what I'm learning. Yeah, and you're right. And you don't have to be in a position for time. Sometimes all I wanted was a break. So, sometimes all I needed was a break. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, 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 for instance, just an example. They're older now. Spring break just came up, and he he's around. You know, like he if they call him, he talks to them. He doesn't go out of his way. You, you stay on the side. I do. What you want a match? <laughs> <laughs> Not you want a match. Both y'all yeah. Oh yeah. Where you at? Huh? Where you at? Okay. Oh, right now? But my weed is... She, you know what? Maisha was... She was a little fertile. Back in the day. Where you get your pajamas from? She in. Mm -hmm. She in. She in car? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How old are you? Oh, you How old are you? 34. 34. July 7th. Ah, July 12th. July 12th. You said your birthday was July 6th? I'm being used. I can't believe My it. My son's birthday is July 3rd. Y'all canceled something different. Right. Oh, yeah. July 12th. We've been friends for all our lives. December 21st, baby. Bitch, when's the baby? You ain't got no grind, of course not. You ain't going. I hate breaking down weeds. I know, I know. Yeah, she, she's pretty good. I don't like her nose, but she do what she needs to do. Not only, no, I'm talking to myself, don't worry about that, I vlog. Not only do I have to roll blunt to Maisha when I'm at her house, but I also have to do it when I meet strangers. So, you know, I'm, I'm useful, guys. First of all, okay. First of all, guys. He was cute though. He was cute, but my 
his talking points made him unattractive as hell. His talking points. You look, you just, here's the thing, and that's this this problem with us, bro. He got the most beautiful, his blackly skin. He's Jamaican. He just, and that, you see, look at her, just swooning for it. Just like, oh, he got, he killed, though. This nigga was, was this nigga's conversation would make you not want to fuck with him. This nigga said, black men will never be. <laughs> First of all, this nigga, for, I, we were talking about forgiveness, right? We were talking about forgiveness. And I was like, well, I have a limit on my forgiveness. Cause he was like, I feel like forgiveness is unlimited. You know what I'm saying? You know, and as a female that's forgiven niggas constantly, I understand that to a certain extent, but I've also gotten to 32. So now I realize I have a cap on my forgiveness. I need how to call these people by this fucking house. What? <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I'm sorry. First of all, when we was in the gas station, I was like, nah, I don't argue with black men, nigga. So I left it up to her to have this conversation. But it got to a point where I was so overwhelmed with emotion. I had, when by the time we got in his car and started smoking his weed, now, I'm now it's time for me to talk. I, I like, I personally like to have this conversation with black men, especially because they have so many excuses. Oh my God, this nigga said. And, and they like to, you know, use the, the the whole narrative of what took place when the black man was taken out of the home and blah, blah, blah. oh my god and and i do i i will i can't say this honestly i agree i agree with what he's saying but how long hold, are we on, hold, on, hold on, on hold on hold on let me they finish are, they're not let me finish right. i agree with what he's saying but like was stated at some point you gotta be like okay this shit is not right and this shit is not okay to happen because like it's it's these generational curses like at some point they gotta be stopped at some point somebody gotta be able to stop them and niggas be conditioned for shit like I don't know this, this nigga like, said to us literally this side this I'm summing up what he said he said shit will always stay the same this nigga at the end of this at the end of the day that nigga said all them words to say we will never change. He said all that. That nigga said the black man was being taken out the home in order for the woman to get insurance. First of all, to get welfare. Welfare. What time is supposed to go? Uh, 10. 10 a.m. What time is All right. Nine. Right on the cusp. A cusp? No, I said we right on the cusp. It's oh. 9.57. <laughs> <laughs> this, is why, this is why we got free dessert on, on this nigga. Don't talk, don't talk about why it's in my phone case. How else am I supposed to steal it? But then after I stole this, I realized, bitch, you got a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, you got a pocket. So I rolled the second blood. I was like, all right, you've learned. You've, you've seen where you messed up. <laughs> now do different this round. So when, we, when I rolled the second blood, I put that weed in this pocket and put the phone in the car to keep this safe. Cause it's not safe in this case like this. I done dropped several nuggets. But uh, I don't like, I, it was a great conversation, but I was definitely passionate. He was like, you right. Everything you saying is right. I'm not saying you wrong, but black men can't change. What? So should we go get like some public subs? You know, listen, don't. And chips and take it to the pool and just be at the Why pool. are you talking to me like I haven't been wanting to spend my food stamps in public <laughs> since you picked my black ass up yesterday? I was just wondering. How many times I done said public? How many times I said public? How many times? I said don't know, like three or five. Then you going to ask me. Do you think we should get some there. subs with chips? So then we could be up there. Even of course. If we hungry. Of course. But we gotta we gotta leave. Well, Deja got practice, so we probably shouldn't be up there. All. We should. It shouldn't take off. We can. We, we, let, let me put our new. We, let me put the weed in the house. Yeah, they probably. For well, lack spare mine. Show the people how smushed y'all is. You can at least say, hey, Savvy, I ain't so mean. <laughs> is that, is that, do y'all have like chips at home that y'all want? Or like cookies or something? Like some other snacks that's already in the house that y'all want? Swimming. I got swimming. Are you sure? Yeah, I got like some other snacks. Because well, my hair's already run. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, I got some other snacks. 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 Yeah
Everybody got everything. All right, fine. Oh, you sure? <laughs> Jump in, bro. So, I'm going to keep my shorts on for this swimming escapade because this bathing suit got my booty out too much. And I'm with the boys, so the boys don't need to see all my goods. So, uh, I'm going to try to get in this cold ass water. I'm a little scared. Oh, what is that? Okay, life. Life. Alright, how am I get in? Dang, Mari, you got in? Dang, Mari. Why, why are you scared because of your stomach? Oh, shit. You don't want your whole body to get cold. You just got to jump in and deal with it. Yes. It is. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God, my phone is not safe by this water. Let me put y'all down. I may not be able to vlog as much as this pool experience as I want. We'll see. All right, so I done got in now, but I lost my nose ring, but it's whatever. I'm about to go dive in. Jumping in? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my hair is so heavy. Oh, my hair gets so fucking heavy when I'm swimming. That's why I can't keep it in a ponytail. It's just too much. Oh, is everything still together? My little bitties is flourishing. <laughs> Dang, I thought I was gonna catch you falling. I was <laughs> falling. <laughs> okay. They were ready to complain. They were ready to complain, little motherfuckers. They said, okay. Should play some damn gangster shit. I'm gonna flip you, okay? Try them. What you looking for? Mm. They're not getting hot though. Wait, hold on. Yeah, never mind. Oh, look at me looking like a mom. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I'm looking like a mom. I'm gonna have to go over it. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm probably gonna do some slow stuff. Got all your it's a fast game right there. Huh. Oh. Be eating that shit. Ain't nobody gonna eat some Everybody else jumped in. Now it's her turn. Y'all. Y'all. Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. You got it, girl.
So guys, not only, I, I basically failed again in life. Um, we drove all the way to my house to, you know, feed, get the dog, feed, you know, let the dogs out there to go to the bathroom, right? Because that's the responsibility. And I was like, oh, I could, I could, ooh, ooh, I could go grab a new bathing suit. Ooh, I can go get more stuff, right? <coughs> we get all the way there. I leave my keys at my each house. Now, I realize I can go to Jay's house and go get my key. My, my baby D. You know what I'm saying? So I went to her baby daddy house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go get my key. And I get the key. I'm still in excitement because now I'm like, oh, I can get inside my house. I'm such a, not even that I'm paranoid. It's just what I do. I lock my my room, my bathroom, and my little work room. The keys is on her, my keys at her house. So all I could really do is take care of the dogs. Okay? I couldn't do anything for myself. I couldn't even get her paper towels because the room that the paper towels is in. It's locked. But yeah, so, you know, this Metro Grey love me. Plastic containers. Would that be on me? Yes. I love mason jars. I want to get more. I need, I oh, this one, a, this one got a lot of them. A long, like... This one got a lot of them. I feel like I need to take a shower. I still have yet to take a shower after this pool. Me too. So, I need to get this chlorine out of my hair. Like, I need this. Oh, that's big. How much is that? Think that could be for like the burgers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then what else we getting? Mm. Like, Do we need to go plates? I got paper plates. And this long you know, aluminum foil that thing. Do you need more paper plates? You got a lot more. I, I don't have a lot more, but I got enough for tomorrow. And oh, okay. Get me till I get back to sand. So we got a pack piece plate. Right. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Oh, we I guess we can see. We can see what's going on when I get over there. Um, oh, I need a shower. <laughs> Don't be telling people I like this. Oh. I mean, you can see it. Right? You can see the dirt. Bitch, we just black. <laughs> We've been in the oh, sun all day. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> what? Did I just call me dirty? <laughs> yes, yeah, crazy. And it's just my skin and it's beautiful to speak? Yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Niggas just got black in the sun. No, but for, but for real though, no, chlorine does something to the skin for real. No, I just be needing to get does. it out. It does. But I'll talk to y'all later. I just want to tell y'all how I felt myself for the 17th time this, in, this, in 2022. Yo, it is Tuesday, 8 a.m. Let me explain why I never picked this damn camera up after my last Walmart visit. as you can see i'm home and i'm laying in the bed get trying to get myself together to get up and clean my body and wash my hair because you know i've been swimming for the last two days let's talk let's have a little chat uh first of all let's talk about sunday y'all seen the last clip i fucked up i left my keys at my Aisha house when i gotta go to mine but we brushed that off. We moved on with our day. Because one thing Maisha's good for is remaining calm. Me on the other half, I'm panicking about what may happen next. So the day goes on further after forgetting the keys. And we're, we're having a good old time. We're in Walmart. Y'all seen the clip? Next thing you know, Maisha loses her phone. 
And it's so funny because I believe either Saturday night or early Sunday, she sent me her, her location. My phone's dropping. Hold on. She sent me her location, right? So I'm like, thank God you sent me your location because who knew we would have, I would have to find your iPhone. So she loses it, no problem. Never been to a Walmart where people gave a fuck, so the employees had the phone in customer service area, right? Bet, cool, thank you, awesome. We continue to shop because she's prepping for, you know, cooking and everything. And we got to get to Kroger before 11. It is probably 10.30 around this point. <sighs> We're living life. We're doing great things. We're checking out. Next thing you know, her phone is gone again. At this point, I'm like, is it, am I the drama? Is it me? Do I just get around people and then I start ruining their perception of life? Yeah. There's an eyelash that wants to get in my pupil so bad. I do the phone on my iPhone again. And it's, I swear to God, this shit got me walking in circles, bitch. I'm like, bitch, it's right here with us. It gotta be. <laughs> it gotta be. Because I don't... If I, I almost walked to the parking lot, but I had to stop myself. Why did the Walmart employees have it again? They had the phone again. And she's like, bitch, I promise to God I threw this phone in this cart. <laughs> And she's still calm as a cucumber. Me, I am furious. Like, how the fuck we do this shit twice? So I'm going to get her a little, like, fanny pack or something. Because she a mom of four boys. I mean, whew, three boys. Let me not put that on her like that. Negativity. Oh, But um, three boys. And uh, I know your mom can get confruffled. Your mom can get kerfuffled. You got so much going on. You got to take this one there, take this one there. That one went McDonald's. That one Wendy's. That one went goddamn Subway. They need football cleats. They need basketball shoes. And they got damn Subway. Girl. And then you got to clean up after these niggas. Because no matter what, a boy going to be a boy. So I know her mom be like. But the, but the fact that we lost the phone twice. And found it twice. That's rare. In American history. You feel me? Boom. Found the phone for the second time. Let's get the fuck out of here before we lose this phone a third time, right? We we zoom over to fucking Kroger. Now we're shopping like it's fucking, what's that show? Supermarket Sweep or some shit. Virgin Margaritas flies into the store with a 40 second head start. Look at that case. That was a good choice. That was a good choice. Because we got five minutes, five to 10 minutes to get up out of here. And I didn't even know because I really don't. I just remember Kroger and Walmart when they used to be, you know, 25, but you know, COVID. Bitch came in and did what she had to do. Shut everything down early. So I'm not used to the whole, we're closing in three minutes. My whole thing is I need these motherfuckers to understand. Look at this. What is that? Is that dandruff? Lint. Wear your, wear your bonnets, guys, and brush your locks. That's something I never did. I never brushed my locks before. And I figured there's no point for me to start now because um, I never did it. First of all, we're at Kroger, Kroger doing a supermarket sweep, you know, getting points every time you put something in the basket and shit. I think it went fine after Kroger. I really do. I think we was like, all right, cool. Time to get back to the house because, wow. Um, we get back to the house. We had a good old time uh, at the pool. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. I'm going to take you out in a second. Went to the pool, had a good old time. The boys are hilarious. I wanted, I wanted to teach two of them how to swim, but they're just not having it. Te make sure your kids know how to swim, people. Make sure your kids know how to swim. Make sure they know how to float and at least doggy paddle. Because, I mean, you never know what situations you might come across. Well, that would be very important to know. But if they get too old, too old to the point where they just the fear is top-notch and they can't even get past the fear, even in the... In the in that they're standing in, the shallow in that they're standing in, and you're still a nervous wreck. That's a lot to try to work past, but um, but we had a good old time. You know what I'm saying? I got black as hell, and I was embracing it because damn it, the inside of my arms need to become the rest of me. I look like real light skin. You know what I'm saying? So I got a little darker, so I was taking in the darkness or whatever. I remember when I was a kid, I used to hate how the sun used to do me, but now that I'm an adult, I realize I got one picture out there that 
send me on through. But hey, let's see if I can find it so I can put it out first. Huh. Well, matter of fact, no. Me and Maisha stayed up till 4 to 5 in the morning prepping for the next day. And when I say we, I say that because I'm her friend. And of course, I was helping with things. But you know, when, when women are cooking, either do what they say or move out the way. You hear me? Either do what they say or get out the way. But she trusted me a lot to do a lot of things. But but um, we prepped pasta salad, deviled eggs. Um, what else we prepped? I cut the watermelon up. Um, what else was she making? She was marinating vegetables. Um, what else did she do? She was making a lot of stuff. that We were doing a lot of stuff last night. And she had to get up and clean the house because, you know, we was going to have company because her brother's going to come over with his three kids. We was going to go to the pool for Monday. So we did all that, stayed up till 5 in the morning, went to bed. I had to get up at like 7, 8 o'clock to go. She let me use her car to come check on my babies because they've been at the house. You know what I'm saying? I can't leave them down and out. Which, you know, I'm proud of my motherfucking dogs. Proud of my babies. They ain't tearing my house up. They tore up my carpet some more, but this is what they've already been tearing up. They didn't poop in the house. I'm going to say there's no pee because I can't see it. I don't think any pee happened. And I left them out the cage. While I'm out, I'm gone. They made me so proud. They didn't chew up my damn Bluetooth speaker. They didn't chew up my internet cord. They didn't chew up nothing. They just loved each other and slept. Love them. Fucking love them. Um, so that was dope. I got out, so I had to get up running on E. First of all, to all the non parents out there, if you about to go hang out with your parental friends, your friends with children, stretch first. Pray first. Hydrate. Let me tell you something. That first pool day. Afterwards. When I tell you my whole my knees was seizing up, exhausted. Right now, I'm sore. Cause Maisha walks like Speedy Gonzalez, right? And we're basically the same height. I don't know why she has this long ass stride. I don't know. But my little bitty legs and the fact that my thighs don't separate, it's a lot to walk fast. I could start a fire if I speed up too much. Then what do we do? Huh? Put me out. But anyway, so I'm ex my legs, I honestly feel like I've been doing squat challenges. Just by helping her be a mom. And outside of that, not only am I paying from helping her be a mom, which I'm not really helping. I'm just assisting. What do you need me to do? What do you need me to get? What do you need me to do? What do you need me to say? Which one you want me to go get? Huh? Which a fat boy? Okay, get him. All right. Uh, Mar All right, bet. Oh, Zadrian? Oh, slap him. Hurt. Will do. You know, I just do what I'm told. I ain't going to lie. I come in there and I bother them. Because I have to. One of them. That's how you build relationships. But that middle one, Zadrian won't fight me. But that's my nigga. But um, I have I love her boys. I have a different relationship with all three of them, and it's just so funny. I try to fight all of them and they all well Zadrian be pushing it. <laughs> that nigga hit me in the head with the with the pool noodle like 20 times. It took me back to childhood. I felt I felt like I was getting bullied. So you know I had to you know I had to roughen them up a little bit because he's <laughs> Nigga, don't forget, we was kids too. Shit. But anyway, but they my little niggas or whatever. So, I, my body, when I tell you I need a rub down, bit, you know what? This is what makes me sad about me and my ex deciding to just say, well, me deciding to say bye. Um, if I was to call him and say, please come rub me down, he would do it. Granted, he might be wanting something else. But it, nonetheless, he would have did it. Now I have no options to rub me down. <laughs> oh, my body can tell. But it's all right. It's all good. But I just thought it was hilarious. Just the, how much pain my body was in. Am I just sitting there like, you good? Because I'm fine. This is normal. But we both moaning and groaning. Like, I hate, when we, it's so funny we talk about it. The sounds we make when we sit. We look at each other like, it's not 2002 anymore. Like, we really, we out here old, for, like, we're not old, but 
niggas gotta stretch before walking out the house now and so okay so let me fast forward we went to the uh pool monday as well sunday and monday but we went late monday because her brother took forever to get to the house because you know he was doing dad things he even came to the house and had to leave back out to do more dad things so we didn't go to the pool till it's late and it started thundering and raining but you know us we're gonna try it at least so we went and i swear this there's definitely two different groups of white people bro i sunday we went no problem easy peasy positivity everybody's enjoying each other's time monday we go they got a fucking old white man that is policing the motherfucking pool he rude as shit the motherfucking lady talking about we need the wristbands and we and i'm just like we was here all day yesterday without the wristbands they're on the keychain why do we need them on our wrist because the kids could lose them because the kids need to be da, 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 da. shut your stupid you just want to talk to us i'm about to put you in Sh charlotte what is that what is what name could i give her because i ain't gonna give her um what we've been calling all white women karen susan just got here susan you already talking shit i'm about to push your ass in and he yelling at the kids. He like, stop running. And we're like, who is this nigga? Is he the get is he the drunk lifeguard? Who is this nigga? I swear, I there's nothing worse than those moments when you're just trying to have a good time. And white people just want to be upset. Just because you're in there being black. I don't I'm not even. I just came and sat down. And what's wrong? And yelling at the kids for running, yes, they can't be running up by the pool, or whatever. But understand, people, parents are there. Nigga don't even get a pass of time to say nothing. And it was one of those things where I was on edge, bitch. I'm already exhausted from being a, a half-ass parent. My dog's at home doing great. I'm slick in a financial bond, and I'm still working on getting out. These financial bonds. These financial bonds. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get out of it one day, man. Fast forward. We having a good time at the pool. Kids eat beforehand. Food, bam. I might put a little clip of the food over here or whatever. Everything was delicious. And I took me to go play Don't Fuck With It. Okay. Um, Maisha kind of taught me how to make macaroni and cheese because I never really made my own mac and cheese. So I should probably try it and see how it come out. Hopefully, I do good, but hey, that's neither here or there. If you would like to be the taste tester of my mac and cheese, please let me know. It's going on 14 minutes, but I ain't done. I am. We've, I had so much fun over there. I needed that weekend, but let me tell you what else happened, though. Monday, I, I come back from checking on the dogs, and I'm coming in with my bags and stuff. Y'all see? No, see? Okay, I'm going to show y'all mine. Y'all see how my light don't have a cover on it? Okay, so I took it off. So it's in my closet. So I could change the light bulbs. She took hers off so we could do the puzzle. I should have showed y'all that motherfucking puzzle. The puzzle is so fucking intricate and so beautiful. She should frame it when she finishes. And I love puzzles, by the way. So if you want to give me a puzzle, go ahead. And so I come in her fucking room, bro. I knock her damn light thing off the box with my, my bag hit it. So I knocked it off the box. And all I hear is some shattering. I'm like, what the fuck? Mind you, she got carpet. I ain't never heard glass break so loud on carpet. It was like a ceramic glass type of thing. So I guess when it dropped, it hit a weak spot and was like, fuck it. My heart dropped. I was so mad. I was so mad to the point where I'm like, my ex had to put a fucking root out on me. Like, ain't nothing crazier than every time I leave my house or I'm at somebody else's shit, it's a whole bunch of fuckery happening. Like, this just to the point where I have to sit down and pray. Like, are we safe? Are these people safe around me? Am I safe with myself? Like, furious. And my issue just like, it's all good. Relax. It'll be fine. And I'm just like, I'm looking at her like, Bitch, it's a, it is a national disaster going on. Or natural disaster. Whatever the word is. But I'm just like, let me roll up. Because I'm... Even my accidents are starting to make me furious. Is my phone dropping again? Yeah. <laughs> Basically, long story short, we had a phenomenal weekend. 
it was I need to have a camera vlogging camera soon man I really do because the only reason why I don't be picking up my phone like that is because I use it so if I need to call somebody on FaceTime or play some music that's what I'm gonna do and you know and that's another thing why I didn't get much recorded who's playing music what I'm not about to do is make it silent for me to get some vlog footage who's in there jamming bitch <laughs> it was so much missed stuff though that's why I wish I had this camera because when I tell you we be laughing we be laughing but that's how that weekend went, man. I, I got home. She took me home last night. And I literally, I literally um, got home, started the shower, sat on top of 30 minutes, cut the shower off, laid down. I just couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. When I say tired, like, while well, driving tired, like, mm. Mm -mm -mm. but... I made it home, and I just had to explain to y'all why I ain't get no footage for the past day and a half. The shit was getting crazy. Shit was getting crazy. But I'm back home. I got to get back to my routine. I got a whole bunch of food in there that I shouldn't have. It's okay. I guess the water fast is not going to start when I thought it was. But, hey, I'm going to start it. So now, so now that I had me a little vacation, a little sun saying, why well, I'm saying a three day three days at my friend house is vacation. Shit crazy. I gotta get out the house more. And then oh it's so crazy because even another friend of mine, she was just telling me about certain events that are free in Atlanta here and then. I feel like if my car was up and running, I would be out doing things. But one thing about Uber is I can't pay seventy five dollars there and seventy five dollars back and twenty dollar entry into the spot. <laughs> and I and you want me to drink? Bro. It's a lot. It's a lot on me. But I'm going to figure this part out. I got to really get it get it going for myself. I want to get out. I want to meet more people. I want to mingle and do stuff. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's like I get invited out to do certain things by certain people. But, it, you know, sometimes I just don't. I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. I just need to get the fuck out of the house. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't. I, to this day, I still don't know what Atlanta has to offer anyone. So... Before I relocate in the next year, because I still plan on doing that, let me just enjoy my time here while I'm here. And just go from there, you know? But, yeah, I love y'all. We're going to end this vlog here because, bitch, why not? <laughs> my phone falling again. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get up and shower, wash my hair. I'm going to co-wash it because I don't feel, I really... I, at this point, I just want to cut it because I can't. I don't know what to do with it anymore. But it's been 20 minutes of me talking, y'all. I hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Hit that bell, big, so you can be aware when I come up with another video. Because, you know, I don't be knowing shit. You don't be knowing shit. So let's know shit together. I'll talk to y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. <clears throat> comment down below some of your bad days that kept getting bad. But at the end of the day, you had a smile. Make sure you and your mama subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all on the next vlog, baby. Or a video. Because I got a lot of videos to record. Bye. It was like two in the morning. I just got back on the road. Not thinking about where I'm been. Not worried about where I'm going to go. Somebody called 911. I'm thinking about selling my soul.